528.21, I have the NASDAQ 115 minute chart right here, right now. We can see where we had a reversal down right there, and then equities came back in in price, dropped in price. A lot of them did. So this is the update. And when the NASDAQ 100 in the futures market controls the actual market and stock prices as it does. These are all the kinds of things that you need to learn. And I would take the next forward step and go ahead and get educated properly on it. That should be your focus. And I hope it is because right now, we have seen for three days that the overall rally has tried to really break highs. And yes, when the markets come down, they pop. But the problem is they're not breaking new highs with volume. That is the issue. And there's one hour and 30 minutes to the closing bell. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. This is the E-mini S&P 500 futures that control the uh, S&P 500 index. That simple. And we can see right here that it's a holiday as it is. And they can put bottoms in and then they can rally up in the last hour as we see on the 15 minute chart in the E-minis. When we look at the S&P 500 index, and remember, we have an hour and 30 minutes to the closing bell. And on this 15 minute, he's holding right up there at the highs on the index. And we can see that from a 15 minute level. But if we put this on a daily level, he's right up here at resistance and he yet has to take it out. That is that simple. When you take a look at the NDX 100, that is the ones that move the big stocks, as you know. So you can get those alerts. All you have to do is sign up for the free five-day trial. Don't put that past you. Put that in front of you. Go ahead and put the next step. Like I said, life is about one step forward, and that's what we're going to do. And we're looking at the overall trend. We know exactly where it is. We know exactly what it's been doing. And we know that the daily charts are very healthy as they are. And right now, though, when we make the highs, we don't have the volume to run it through there. On the NASDAQ composite, once again, we're looking for what we call volume breakout. And... Happy Memorial Day weekend to all of you and to the best of your trading successes. And we call this a rising wedge in some ways on the daily. But when we look at this on a four hourly and the NASDAQ composite is showing on this four hour candle right here that it's red. And yes, that four hour candle on 528 right here that gap up is we're going to see if this four hour candle goes down and breaks the lows maybe or does it hold that support that is what it looks like from a four hour perspective a view of it and then the buy signal is declining okay as well when we look at it in that light when we look at the Dow, well, that's on fire. It's right up at the top of that resistance. Happy Memorial Day weekend to all of you. Once again, you have the uh, Russell 2000, the rut, on a four-hour level. You can see what a breakout that was. Bingo, right there. And now he's coming off this way. So he's not making new highs, okay? So we're looking at that. And it's a bull run versus a bear run. So that's good for the people being long stocks and whatnot. They're trying to get some momentum behind them, but they lack the breakout volume. I repeat the alert. You lack what? 
breakout volume. And that's exactly what has to happen for the real bull to be in control of this market, which would take your trades propelling much higher. Now, having said that, volatility will be volatility. No one will ever escape volatility. No one. And this is going into the closing bell. And prices are moving very quickly in the background as they are. And when we take a look to see where the futures market is, again, on this four-hour chart, it's still a red bar. It's not breaking down. That's a 10-minute period on a four-hour uh, moving average. And the 20s right below it. There's the 200 and the other one's down here. But nonetheless, this is the issue right here. You can see it. And what our job is to do is to let you know where everything is. And that's what this is about. Not only is it about that, is what is going to be your gauge. And volatility can eat anyone up. It doesn't matter who you are. doesn't matter how long you've been doing it or what title you have, volatility can do that, but how do you recover is the key issue. Always has been, always will be. That's where people fall short. So these are the trends that we face right now going into the close, into a holiday weekend. And we can see the triple Qs are up $1.88, but it's still red. It's not collapsing, but what is it not doing? Volume breakout. We don't have it. So we can't sit here and pretend we do when we don't. And that's another thing that we do in our coaching is we make sure that you are very well seasoned. And basically, if you take a look at the consolidation here, it starts with the breakout on the four-hour then if you just take the four-hour lows right here, it's very important, and you bring that right up there, and then you simply draw a trend line, on it goes like this, you want to put it right here. So we have the high up there, then we have the four-hour roll-up with negative volume, and it's in a triangle or a short-term apex. Is it going to go up or it's going to break down? So it's going to be either or. And there still is one hour and 15 minutes to the closing bell. It's a Memorial Day weekend. The tradition is that stocks end up positive and always has been that way. Now, the next thing is what will happen and the only way we're going to be able to gauge it mathematically is what the triangle says on a four-hour level, short-term, four hours. He's in it, but he's not positive volume. And this is on the triple Qs, okay? And that's very important. When you look at the Dow futures, they're up 115 points. They're not breaking highs yet. We have an hour and 15 minutes to the closing bell that we do. When we take a look at other things that are very important, we look at the fear indicator of the NASDAQ 100. When this goes down in value, stocks automatically go up. So when the NASDAQ 100 futures go up in this triangle, then automatically Everything else is invert and goes when that goes down, then stock prices go up. And it's something you need to learn. No one's ever you're never going to get around it. So when all it says is low volatility and less fear at this very moment in time. Here in this live market hours with this live video. So let's make sure we're grounded very well. And when this happens, when, 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 when that trend line like that, and this is going down, then equities are popping in the, in, in the sector, in the NASDAQ 100. 
once again, it was our privilege to update you. Happy Memorial Day closing bell. And there's lots of them that are working. And once again, it's exactly what we said. And that's exactly what will happen.